All right, on this video, we're going to need plaster of Paris, some plaster bandages, some gauze bandages, and some paper or newspaper to uh, keep the mess off the table and easy to clean up when you're done, and some scissors to cut the bandages with. And just like I'm doing here, these are surgical grade gauze bandages I'm just cutting up. Really, really good, nice, high quality, thick ones. There's the plaster of Paris. And there's the two pieces that we have from, from earlier on. These two mass pieces have already taken about four days to cure. They're nice and hard and bone dry now. That's really important. You don't want to work these until, until they've gotten nice and dry. And as you can see there, I'm just sizing them up, making sure, you know, I can get them to match a little bit more, a little bit more, trimming them. Careful not to take off too much, because if you take off too much, then you can damage it, you gotta repair it, it's just a lot of work. So just take a little bit of time, just trim it, just get a little bit closer and closer until you're, you're happy right there, they're nice, and they're close together. A little bit more. Looking better. Tie it up, be as precise as you can. All right, now put away all the trimmings, start fresh, nice clean work area, pour the water in the plaster of Paris, mix it up. Now you can see here, I, I started with the uh, surgical gauze but I changed my mind and decided to um, go ahead and just work with the, uh, the pre-made gauze because it's a lot, a lot thicker, um, just easier to, uh, to apply. So, I mean, you can do it this way, but I, I changed my mind. It just, just wasn't feeling like it was, I was getting the results I wanted. So, switched over to the, to the pre-made gauze bandages. Just soak that in with the, water plaster, it's just gobbing the plaster on there as much as I can. Just trying to smooth out the edges, make them even where I trimmed away just before. And I'm just going all the way around, making those edges nice and smooth. So basically you're going to want to do this to both the front and the back. So I did the front and I'm going to do the back, the same thing. Pretty straightforward. Obviously the goal is, you know, once we put these two pieces together, wanting to match up so when we pour latex, you know, it doesn't leak out. It's nice and even. There's there's still another step, you know, a couple, there's still several steps beyond this. This is just the initial step to uh, smooth out those edges. And here we go, filling in the eyes and nose holes. There's no hurry to do that. Right there filled in and now I can take extra plaster. The plaster is starting to thicken a bit and just 
gob that in where I just filled in the nose and the eyes and uh, smooth that out. And now the stuff is starting to get really thick. So while it's thick like that, you know, I can work it into the holes and the grooves and really smooth out the little bubbles and imperfections on the inside. Just need to thin, thin the plaster out a bit because it, it gets really thick really quick. Keep it really nice and smooth and liquidy so you can fill in all those little areas that need to be nice and smooth. Alright, so that's going to do it for video two. Um, just smoothing out those inside bits and, and that's it. We'll be moving on to video three where we actually apply the clay to the outside of the mold and fortify the mold so it's nice and sturdy. So thanks for watching and I hope you learned a lot from video 2.